Okay, everybody, I just wanted to share with you my favorite crustless quiche recipe today. It is so simple, and honestly, you can make it special with whatever you have in your fridge. So, we start with simply eight eggs. This, I love our mixing bowl and whisk for whisking up eggs. So it's eight eggs, and then you can add one cup of Greek yogurt, I love because it bumps up the protein. Uh, you could use sour cream, but this is a way healthier option and something that we always have in our fridge. So if you are avoiding dairy, you can always add uh, coconut cream, that's another addition, and you can honestly leave it out too if you want. One of my favorite additions when I'm not using any kind of dairy to kind of fluff it up like cheese or yogurt would be is mushrooms. And so um, we are gonna put some mushrooms in this quiche, but first I'm gonna blend in the yogurt with the egg. So it's, yolk, it's eight eggs, one cup of Greek yogurt, and then you have the option if you add cheese or not. And so I'm gonna add a little bit today, but a very little bit. And I would say anywhere from two to four cups of cheese. Um, I'm actually only gonna add a cup today. And then I love to just throw, like I said, whatever I have. So I've got spinach on hand. I always throw a couple handfuls of spinach in there. That's super healthy. I have leftover salmon. We're gonna throw that in there. It's gonna really be a healthy, delicious quiche. And then I wanna show you these mushrooms. So these mushrooms I roasted up um, and for dinner, and now we're going to chop them in our awesome Eco Chop. So I'm just gonna spoon some mushrooms in here, and we've got some juices in here, so I'm gonna try and leave some of that out. There's some nice garlic in here, which is great. And then watch how quickly this Eco Chop works. So I put the mushrooms in, put the lid on, and then I control. So if you wanna keep them kind of sliced, you just pull a couple times, it does a great job. But I'm gonna actually dice these up really good. I'm trying to hide them. <laughs> so you've got to see how amazing, look at what that Eco Chop did to my mushrooms. So now that's a wonderful flavor I'm adding to this quiche and some nutrition at the same time. So then like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of cheese. I found that you can use less cheese if you use a more flavorful cheese, like a sharp cheddar, Gruyere is really yummy. And so then you can see all I'm doing is blending this in. Then I'm gonna put this quiche batter in our sunflower mold. The cool thing is, is you don't have to spray grease oil this pan to prep it. It's all gonna go in there, nothing's gonna stick, you'll get to see. Our flexi pans always sit on the perforated baking sheet. So I'm gonna perforate the baking sheet first, then my sunflower mold, and now I'm gonna put all of this yumminess in here, and then I'm gonna cook this and uh, we'll come back to show you the results. I'm gonna cook this at 400 degrees and it's gonna be about 35 minutes in here. So, we'll show you soon. Go. Okay, our quiche is out and I'm gonna show you how we get it out of the sun farm mold. So, we take the platter we're gonna serve it on, put it over top, flip the whole thing over, and then reveal our beautiful quiche.